Hello friends, I am Kalina and after 10 years, 10 plus years actually, of working for her and her interactive, if I can talk, I thought it'd be fun to do a throwback. Um, like I've never done a react to myself video before, so I'm going to go back to the, uh, briefly to the old websites of her interactive and also go back to some of my very first uh, amateur sleuth blog videos and watch them and react to them because it's been a decade and I am going to cringe like crazy. This uh, web.archive.org is where I am going and all of these hot spots right here are when changes happened to the website. So you can see it started in 1998 and I'm not gonna show you very many because there are a lot of broken images because the images are no longer hosted on the internet any place. So I'm just going to show you a few, a few snapshots that I found. And this was, oh my goodness, what is this? 2001. This is what it looked like. These, these are definitely broken images. We've got this animated GIF here of Nancy um, with scenes from Secrets Can Kill. And oh my goodness, we've got, you can purchase the games, products. This is probably the same thing. <laughs> Company info, message boards, tech support. I wonder if it'll actually take me to products. It doesn't always work. So we'll see what happens here when we go. Oh my, look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at new. The final scene was available for $24.95. Same with these other games. Oh, that's right. And uh, you had to buy them from Amazon because before any of these games were released for retail, <laughs> they were only available on Amazon. And it was only until, uh, I believe it was the Haunted Mansion, Message in the Haunted Mansion, that it, they finally went retail and, uh, look at here, this product will be available for sale online and in retail stores on Nove in November 2004 one. Oh, wow. Talk about for more product information. I wonder if this is going to share anything or if the webs, if the web page might be broken, which it might. Look at this. That's all it gives is that information. Wow. Look at the marble teal in the background. Oh, I love it. <gasps> the original message boards. For girls who aren't afraid of a mouse. Look at this other oh, old logo. Okay. Okay. This is what it looked like. Okay, I remember my first instance of coming here was for message in a haunted mansion. I think the first clue that we needed was to figure out how to move forward in the game. We were stuck with figuring out how to spy on Lewis. Oh wow, and I remember Getting excited for treasure in the royal tower. Oh my. All right, and so a little bit, fast forward a little bit. And when we've, uh, they've made a few more games. We've got Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. This is still a very text heavy website. It's a lot of text and a lot of, oh wow. Oh my goodness. You can select games from here. Oh yeah, it wasn't working. Cause because, 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 uh, the store was hosted by a different site, a different service. Yeah, that's where it takes me. Okay, but then we also jump ahead to, what was it, 2009, 2010, and the website completely had, had a complete overhaul change. And this is what it looked like. We went to the pinks, the new Her Interactive logo. Oh, the mobile mysteries. There were the menu options were here. I remember designing for these rotators, is what we called them. Designing for this was really hard because you can see the black space right here. The picture would only fit in this window space, like this cut space. So we'd get stuff cut off right here from our art, but we could not fill this. So we always had to make sure to fill this with black or else you see the hard line right here. It was really difficult to design. <laughs> Um, message boards, hints and tips, a blog. You could scroll through the shop of these. So many elements that I had to load on this page. It was a heavy, heavy run page. 
Like there was a lot of overlay images here. These were all image based. Like you hover over it and it's an image and it had to be clickable. We've got all this space taking up just emptiness before you get to the product here. Oh, and you can buy international. Find us in retail stores. Oh, look at this. And these tiny itty bitty little buttons. Download and buy boxed. And we had, like, there's so four buttons, okay, for PC, for Mac. Download and box. Download and box. Oh, look at the tin. I've got a few of those tins. The Hardy Boys DS game and the Cody Capers, which I played on my channel. Community. What does this take us here? Blog post of the week. And then the message boards. Okay, so it was an extra click to get there. Quick clicks to warnings at Waverly, Ransom, Resorting to Danger, Amateur Sleuth Blog. Yes. Oh, wow. This is where we had the blog hosted. It was with blogspot.com before we migrated all of it. I remember that. We migrated all of the uh, blog posts into the new Herner Active website. So let's go back. Oh my goodness, I wrote these. Okay, so I started as an intern writing for the blog late November, actually, of 2010. Okay, Novel Sleuth, I remember who that was, yeah. Oh, okay, so I actually made these, these like phone charms. They're more like keychain size out of polymer clay because of uh, Shadow of the Water's Edge and Legend of the Crystal Skull. And he took a picture and posted it. Okay, here it is. Here it is. It was the week of Thanksgiving. It was a three day week for her interactive and it was snowing. And not very many people were in the office on my first day as intern. Oh my goodness, look at okay. Monday, November 22nd, 2010. My first, first amateur sleuth blog post, day one. Woohoo! Had a snowy start on my first day at Her Interactive, but would snow ever stop a sleuth from doing sleuthy things? Of course not, Nancy would not have it. I will say though, the snow makes the world look so mysterious. It can hide large objects, yet outline details with its sharp contrasting color, and it makes the outdoors seem so quiet. It's as if the snow is hiding many secrets. Anyways, I've been getting the lowdown from the inner workings here at High from a more professional sleuth, and I meant novel sleuth, discovering some secrets and learning how we do things here. This includes magic. <laughs> a couple of things I have learned from Nancy is to keep great notes and to use a handy task list. I have full confidence that these highly developed skills from my detective training will help in my work. Hmm, I wonder what other Nancy skills I could use to make my work excellent. I remember this. Oh my goodness. Because I, I mean, that's one of the first things they handed me was a notepad and paper. And so I was trying to make like a Nancy Drew task list of the things I needed to do for work. Oh yeah. When I discovered this for the first time, uh, the book stack menu on the spine, it says her interactive in very tight letters. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I remember this too. Um, something interesting happens every day. Yesterday, a leak was discovered in the roof. And today, as I speak, someone is trying to fix it right across from my cubicle. Thanks thankfully, the leak isn't over anyone's desk. I remember that. Oh goodness, that roof had so many problems. And it also had rodent infestations at some point too. There's a buzz in the office because a couple got engaged. I remember who it was, a couple of the artists got engaged in Leavenworth over the weekend. Um, a few of us were having a discussion about character hairstyles. Let's see, if this was 2010, oh, we were doing initial concept sketching and research for how Bess and George were supposed to look for alibi and ashes. That's what was happening with talking about character hairstyles. And it's interesting to hear the artist's and designer's thoughts process on this. Okay, fun fact, the character hairstyles, we are really talking about George's hairstyles at this point. Um, our artist sketched out like eight different hairstyles for George and we had an office vote. And it was interesting because all the girls in the office were voting for this boyish haircut for George, because you know, just like in the books, George has a boyish haircut. But all the guys in the office were going for the more feminine, long hair, lovely styled hair. That's what they preferred. I thought it was interesting. 
And there is my first little jackalope sketch. Well, okay, as, as marketing, um, I was doing some sketches, jackalope sketches when I was game production intern. I wonder if any, I wonder if Novel Sleuth wrote about that when he was writing the blog as, during my time as game production intern. All right, this is my picture that I took. Christmas season. Obviously you can see some of the wreaths on a very nice sunny day at the second her interactive office. This is where we spent most of the time. And it was, there were conference rooms in this building. It was known as the conference building in the office park. Conference building and there was um, a gym way off to the right over here, the bathrooms as well. Um, and there was one, two, three conference rooms downstairs. But what happened, you come into the lobby right here and the staircase was up to the right. You go up this ways and there was a balcony. You can kind of see it here. We took up the entire top floor. So when you step upstairs, you can see this is the front windows that we just looked at. This, this looks a little bit blurry. We had our sign. We could look over the railing down to the lobby below. Here's the glass um, uh, front office. And we had waiting chairs and magazines. This was our main conference room. It was the biggest one, it had whiteboard and stuff. You come through here, it's the front office, which leads right into the kitchen, the big kitchen back here. And you can walk through the halls back here. And it's this great big room in the back here where all the cubicles were and other smaller offices lining around the corner here in the back of the building. And here's a picture of the 2004 Halloween, really decorated props to Maureen and the other team members who decorated, but it was really cool. I think that's all of the video or pictures I have to share. Share. So um, back to the fun part. We're going to take a look at, let's see, this is the Amateur Sleuth blog playlist on Her Interactive's YouTube channel. Here we go. How to get ready for a scary new game. Oh my goodness. Little Jackalope from the Amateur Sleuth blog. Ghost of Thornton Hall is coming just around the corner. It's coming! And pre-orders are still going right now. Bonus edition. However, we did sell out of the physical bonus edition, but the digital versions are still available. But if your heart is really set on getting the physical copy, you can pre-order the standard version. Here's a quick reminder about the dates. Oh goodness, I use the word but also, a lot. <laughs> everyone who pre-orders a bonus edition, whether it be physical or digital, are automatically entered to win one of these. Masks. It's only a hundred. What? <laughs> Atlas is pretty cool. While everyone is waiting for Ghost of Thornton Hall to finally arrive. From this player to you, here are a few tips and tricks for getting ready for playing a new scary mystery game. Okay. One, make yes. sure you've ordered the game. While waiting for your game to arrive, tell ghost stories to each other to get into the spirit. Nah. Then, the customer service call came from inside the office. No way. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> or you can play the old. That story was my sister. Like Message in a haunted mansion. Ghost dogs of Moon Lake. Curse of Blackmore Manor. Legend of the Crystal Skull. The haunting of Castle Malloy. Shadow at the water's edge. The Captive Curse. You can play by yourself, or you can play with a friend. Aww. You could practice scaring each other, or not. <laughs> Grab your notebook and pencil, dress the That's part, my desk. and properly assume the role. Wrangle up a snack, but I don't recommend throwing the food at the screen. Turn out the lights. <laughs> Turn the music volume way up for a better experience. Did I mention practice screaming? So. Are you ready for Nancy Drew's scariest mystery ever? <laughs> Check out the official trailer if you have. Yes, or yes. Or share with a friend. Want the latest news? Sign up for our newsletter or subscribe to our channel. Sign up, subscribe, and stay tuned. Stay sleuthy. Dare oh to play. my gosh. <laughs> okay, that wasn't even my first one. Yeah, I was very excited about the um about the official trailer because I made the official trailer for Haunt uh, the Ghost of Thornton Hall. Okay, uh, let's take a look at. Little Jackalope from the Amateur Sleuth Blog. I'm here to get you up to speed with this week's and next week's happenings. And we have a lot of happenings. Most importantly, if you pre-ordered the digital download of the Deadly Device, or will have by the 16th, you will be able to download on Tuesday. If you pre-ordered the boxed game... Oh, that was, yeah, because 
the digital and physical coming. were not also, aligned. Whether you chose to pre-order physical or digital by the 16th, there's still a little bit of time to order. You will be entered for a chance to My win hair. this Drew costume, which includes this shirt, this skirt. Okay, honestly, that outfit was a nightmare to put together. Box, Ned's heart-shaped locket that he gave to Nancy, and my favorite item, this awesome Nancy Drew inventory bag. I bought put myself all one. Inventory items in while you were on a case. Have you looked at some of the screenshots oh, from inside the game? Well, let me show you in just a few seconds. The Tesla-inspired one. I find this room to be the most intriguing. I could stare at this screenshot for a long time. Oh my gosh! Operate dangerous mechanical devices. How exciting is this place? Electricity. Danger. Oh my gosh! Don't want to look cute yourself. <laughs> but look what we have here. Another pigeon. <laughs> Except this one's mechanical. Secrets of its own for you to find out. Oh goodness! Arcade games in the lounge. What, Nancy? Are you taking some time off from the case? This is cringy. Or is there a better reason why you're playing around? The security booth. You have some serious snooping to do in there. Be careful not to get caught. Navigate through dangerous rooms. Well, did you see that last image? Yikes! Lab <laughs> of <audited laughs> devices. Well, they're not too bizarre. I mean, I know what they all do. This one thingy, you have the switch where you turn like this. Wait, this way, and it does something, and then you put something in it, and then it does something really cool, and oh, you gotta see it. Like, no. That does. And the research lab. Well, I'm not going to be nosy. I'm just gonna go through your stuff while you're not here so I can try to find out if you're really hiding something. All in a day's work for a detective. You don't mind, right? Of course, these are just a few views from inside the game. There is still time to pre-order. <gasps> Bonus edition. And whenever you pre-order, there is still the Adventure Matters contest. Learn more at our site to stay updated and get more insider tidbits. Follow us on our channels, subscribe to our newsletter, continue reading the Amateur Sleuth blog. By the way, I do tend to hide hints and tips about vague little secrets that I tend to post here and there. That's true. That's true. Sign up, subscribe, and stay tuned. Dare to play. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Okay. Wow. I mean, I'm still awkward as anything, but wow. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for future videos. I might watch more later. Oh.